Welcome or welcome back to the Building Belmont podcast. If we haven't met before, my name is Keanu, friend, neighbor, citizen, and also a business owner in this community. Several years ago, over five years ago, my wife and I moved to this community and we fell in love with the people, what it had to offer, and the way that it really takes you in. And I wanted to, in some small way, support that effort to connect people, ultimately bringing people together. They don't have to like each other. They don't have to leave as friends, but connecting people. That was the catalyst for this platform. So if you haven't yet, we've interviewed several business owners in the community, got to capture their stories, go back and listen to some of our episodes. But in this season right now, leading into the November election, our local leadership landscape has the potential to change drastically and change not necessarily being a bad thing but there are four city council seats that are technically up for election and our mayoral seat is up for election given our former mayor charlie martin resigned his seat early due to health issues thank you for your service charlie but with that being said we have current city council member that is running for mayor if they are elected to mayor their seat has to be filled there are three city council members that their seat is up up for re-election. Some of them are running for their seat again. Others are moving on. And we have local leaders that want to step up to the plate to lead. So you see, it's very important to get the community involved so you know that you are represented by your local leadership in the issues that you want to address and ultimately the community that you want to raise your family or grow your business in. So in this season, we have partnered with other great organizations to host a forum Thursday, October 19th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. We will have a mayoral forum discussion, then a break to meet candidates, followed by a city council forum and discussion. We will have refreshments. This will be hosted at the Point Church in, on Wilkinson in Belmont. So it's a place to connect and understand, get to know more deeply what your candidates are campaigning on, what they feel best represents the community, and to make your voice heard to be able to connect and understand what is going on or the future of our community. So ultimately, just in the beginning, this platform was about connection. It is still about connection. After the election, we will go back to interviewing and connecting with other great business owners, capturing their stories and getting to connect you with them personally. It's very inefficient for a business owner to meet with 12,000 people to tell their story. So if you're new, please like, subscribe, follow all the things in whatever platform you're seeing this on. But for right now, we're going to focus in on the elections. What we're doing now in advance of the forum is introducing you to each candidate. So all of the candidates for city council and, of course, for Belmont City Mayor have been invited to introduce themselves here. Of course, they've all been invited to the forum Thursday, October 19th. And now I am honored to introduce you to them in a short 10-minute episode so they get to share their story, why they're running, and connect you with them, but also share their information if you want to connect with them personally to understand or to share your concerns, or to share your ideas or your vision for the community that you represent. Ultimately, all leadership is only a representation of its people in business and government, and we can't do anything about our landscape really at large as a country as much as we can do here locally. You get to meet these candidates. You get to vote for these candidates and get to understand what they're really running on and express your concerns if you have them. So we'll look forward to seeing you Thursday, October 19th. We will be live and live streaming. So if you want to join in person, there's going to be a chance between the forums to actually address or approach each candidate at the same time. We will be live streaming because this is 2023 and there's no reason anything that we're doing can't be live streamed. So we'll be live streaming to you through the Building Belmont YouTube. So subscribe here so you get notified and you're aware when that does come back around. And again, just like you, I am here to connect and grow my family as a citizen, someone that ultimately enjoys connecting people. And anything that I do, my favorite thing is connection. So that is still the purpose here. That will always be the purpose here. And we look forward to connecting you to your future leadership. Enjoy. <music> Hi, I'm Richard Turner, and I'm running for mayor of the city of Belmont. I am the current mayor pro tem. I've also served Belmont two terms on our planning and zoning board and two terms on our park and rail rec board. I've also served Belmont as a representative on the Council of Government and the Metropolitan Planning Organization. I invite you to my Facebook pages, Richard Turner, and elect Richard Turner mayor of Belmont. I look forward to sharing my ideas and vision for our city on the 19th 
at the Point Church here in Belmont. Thank you, Richard. Thank you for taking some time, of course, to introduce yourself here today and, of course, already to promote the event. I've closed every episode with promoting the event. I appreciate you uh, jumping in there for me. You <laughs> mentioned that you had served two terms in planning and zoning. That was before your city council time? It was. It was. I had two terms on our planning and zoning board and two terms on park and rec. Actually, chaired for one term on park and rec. Which one was first? Uh, I did both concurrently. Okay. And what about your experience in parks and rec and planning and zoning, which are obviously, as every function of the city, is very important to the future, the vision, what's going on? What led you or what was the catalyst from being involved there to wanting to serve even at a greater level on city council? Well, I enjoyed my time on park and rec and planning and zoning. And I think we did some really good work and made some really strong recommendations. However, they're advisory boards. Um, and after the two terms, I realized I wanted to transition into a role where I could be a little bit more determining, not just making recommendations, but actually voting on the things that were presented to us. Around what time frame was that from when you served on Parks and Rec and Planning and Zoning? What years? Uh, let's see. I think my first term I was elected to City Council was 2013. So uh, that probably would have put me somewhere around 2009 through 2013, I believe. Well, getting a timeline, I do believe your your history with Belmont, I do believe you're from the area. No, actually, I was born in Charlotte. We okay. moved here, my wife and I, 31 years ago. Uh, when we decided we were going to get married and raise a family, we were, wanted to do it in a small town. Um, Marie's parents lived in Mount Holly, and we just kind of stumbled on Belmont. And, you know, what drew me to this town was it's... It, it had Mayberry qualities, to be honest with you. 31 years ago, it really impressed upon me the sense of community, um, how everybody seemed to know each other and look out for each other, and busing. You know, I, I was bused in the Charlotte Mecklenburg school system, and our realtor told, I asked her about busing, and she said, uh, there is no busing. And I was like, okay, what does that mean? And she said, you can ride a bus if you want to, but your kids will go to Belmont Central, Belmont Middle and South Point High School. And that was really appealing to me that these our kids would not have to be bused waiting at a bus stop, but could also potentially go through elementary school all the way through gradu graduation with the same group of kids. So that pretty much closed the deal. I mean, just a sense of community in the school system. Well, Belmont isn't the same that it was five years ago, let, al let alone 31 years ago. So you've been involved for a long time and even at a level of joining boards as well as city council. Now taking the step into mayor, had that been something that you were interested in? I know you're in the middle of your city council term right now, uh, mm -hmm. having been elected, re-elected two years ago. Was that something that you thought after this term you would go for? How long has that been a thought for you? Really? After the last election, I sort of began thinking about it. People asked me, you know, would you consider running for mayor? And I, and I did struggle with it because you are surrendering the ability to vote to move into a different position. But I mean, I, I felt like it was a natural nat natural progression. Um, Charlie and I run on the same cycle. So I had anticipated in two years from now, our cycles would end. Uh, Charlie had indicated to me that he wasn't going to seek re-election. So I had I thought I had two more years to kind of consider the options, but with his early retirement and it brought about a special election, it kind of forced the issue. And I did decide to go ahead at this time and uh, seek the mayor office. You mentioned something there that I didn't know until I started getting involved here in Belmont, that the mayor actually doesn't vote. What are some other differences in the role or even the leadership role of mayor versus city council? Well, the mayor votes in the event of a tie. Now, during my duration on council, which is almost 10 years now, I've seen that happen twice. So the, the possibility of voting is there, but it's very slim. So your other role is, you, you know, you have the uh, bully pulpit, so to speak. I mean, you set try to set the vision for the town and you work closely with staff and council to try to bring that vision uh, to a reality. And, okay. and I'm, kind of, I'm kind of drawn to that. I've, I've had the ability to build consensus on council on a lot of issues, and I've brought a lot of things to the table. And I think I can continue to do that as mayor. Now, during my time on council, I've been very transparent on Facebook. You know, I always post uh, after city council meetings, the uh, items that were on city council, the result of the vote, how I voted and why. Um, although I won't have a vote to cast, I still will give kind of a, a synopsis of the meeting 
um, on Facebook. I just, I think we have very low attendance at our meetings. And even though it is broadcast, I still feel like uh, I need to get that information out. I want, I want people to understand my perspective on how I voted and why. That's fair. No, I think it's a, a useful tool, of course, especially in this day and age. I think if we're not yet leveraging social media for any of our leadership or businesses or even our roles, then we're, we're missing a huge gap. So you mentioned in the beginning where people can find you. Again, thank you for that as well. It's been a question I've been asking towards the end. And there's already so many questions and conversations that I want to have on behalf of the community with every candidate. So the hardest part, Richard, in these interviews for me has been stopping. Uh, but you've introduced yourself. Thank you for taking the time to promote the event Thursday, October 19th at the Point Church. We will be discussing with the mayoral candidates, Richard included, as well as city council candidates. And you'll have opportunity to meet with every candidate there to have conversation, understand their experience, their vision, how they want to represent you as a community. But as Richard shared, you don't have to wait until then to engage with him. So reach out, have conversations. I know that he's open for that, again, to engage with the community. So Richard, thank you so much for your time. Do you have anything else to share before we go? No, I'd just like to say thank you to you, uh, the G Gaston Business Association and the Point Church, uh, as well as Montcross Chamber for this event. Um, I'm hoping it's well attended. I believe it will be. Uh, this is a great opportunity for everyone in Belmont to hear everybody's different thoughts and plans uh, for the future of our community. Well, thank you so much. And I appreciate you being a part of it and your leadership and your continued leadership. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Richard.